Dutch Legion. That's a funny idea. <laughs> what Legion is Dutch anyway? <laughs> it's up there by Germany. Germany. <laughs> by Deutsch and, Legion. And now a time of quiet. <laughs> Welcome to another edition of This is True Really News. I've been told by the attorneys to shut the hell up, so I'm going to. We would appreciate it if you would kindly like, subscribe, and follow This Is Truly News. It would be great. If you see and or hear something that you would like to comment on, good, bad, or indifferent, especially the indifferent, just go ahead and tell us how mundane it is. Ooh, ooh, we like that. Yep. It's grist for the mill, as they say. Oh, sorry. Shh, shh, shh. Talk too much, we'll get in trouble. All right. Also, by the way, if you come across a story that we would find entertaining and you think that others would find entertaining as well, please forward it to us at T-I-T-R, which does not spell titter, T-I-T-R at netradio dot network. You said titter. Damn it. This is True Really News with Scott Combs and Tony Vercanis. All the news you're about to hear is true. Really? As far as you know, bumbled conversations. I can just tell. <laughs> bumbled conversations on the Bumble dating app. Are you ready? Is there such a thing as a Bumble dating app? There is. I have a question. Okay. Question. What the hell. Or, right. But Bumble, it's, it's a thing. Well, I assume well, it sounded for, like me when I was dating, but yeah. yeah. Right. If I knew now what I knew then, I would have been so better, so much better off. Or if no, I knew I, then what I know now, I think I, that's the way I've got to say it. Either way, I'd still be stupid. So, yeah, didn't. but yeah, but I wouldn't be nineteen-year-old boy stupid. No, you'd be old man stupid in a nineteen-year-old body, which is not only scary but might be dangerous. Some nineteen-year-old and others standing in a standing in a sleeveless t-shirt on his front stoop. Get out of my yard! Get off my lawn, you kids! I love that you look so athletic. How do you stay in shape? Thanks. I'm not athletic at all, though. Really? Yeah. Literally, last week, my neighbor called the cops because I was moaning so loudly on the treadmill she thought I was being attacked. Of course. Out of curiosity, what compelled you to get a multi-poo? Uh-huh. Multi-poo. Probably Maltese and a poodle. Right? Poos are all Couldn't the... Couldn't it be a poo-tease? That would be better, wouldn't it? I like... Well... Sounds like the time my son Drew pooped in his diaper, took it off, mm. and chased one of the, the neighbor's kids around the yard with yeah. it. Multi poo. <laughs> Out of curiosity, wouldn't it be a, wouldn't it be a malt diddle? Ooh, that <laughs> malt diddle. A now malt that sounds maldy. Maldy sounds slightly dirty. Out of curiosity, what compelled you to get a multi poo? It was my ex girlfriend's idea, because uh, but I kept her because she's my soulmate. Because no one can have just one. You'll have if to I excuse my tardy reply. I don't really use the app much. It's been three years. <laughs> well, what does it say the other person's still on the app? And still wondering. Now, this one you'll appreciate. Some generic greeting. Some generic reply to greeting. Some generic questions. Some random flirting. Some random comment about cheesiness. Some crying emoticon, some consoling remark, some counter comment to save my ass, some uninteresting low effort response. Those two that about sums up my dating life. They are made for each other. They are. You're checking off a lot of boxes. What are the negatives? I'm impatient, can't cook, and I'm almost bold. Almost bold? That's a negative? For a lot, I guess. Uh, guess not for you. No, I mean, we're all works in progress. I can throw all my hats away then. Wait, you mean bald? Cricket sounds enter here. And finally, okay, I'll be there in 30. Okay, I'll be the guy in the camo Crocs. Don't judge me. I just came down with the flu. Oh my God, fine, I'll change. Dude, you've already... You can't change who you are. You're a camel no, croc guy. Uh, our our keyboard player has camel crocs. See, I still find that I can personally mock most anyone wearing any sort of crocs. At least camel, camel crocs give you the idea they made an effort to hide them. Well, I don't know how anybody ever sees them. 
I'm Akron, wearing Crocs Ohio, right now. Akron, Ohio. Don't tell me that. I had I no self-respect for you to begin with, and now. <laughs> but they're not Croc Crocs. They're flip-flop Crocs. They're flip Crocs. They're Croc Flops. Ooh, I like that one. Flop Crocs. Flop Crocs. So that'd be Croc Flops. Yes. <laughs> Akron, Ohio Municipal Court. We're back in Ohio. Oh, Akron good. Municipal Court Judge Ron Cable made a couple's dreams come true last spring as he officiated, officiated, I say, the star warmed, star warmed? Many stars are hot. Pretty much what George Lucas started with. Star worms. No, man, no, this like, won't go over. The chicks won't be watch something that. Bigger. Star Wars themed wedding. Star Varms. Well, then it'll have to be in German. We aren't doing that. As he officiated a Star Wars themed <laughs> wedding, said the Associated Press. With Princess Leia ear buns on. See, now if Jabba the Hutt was officiating, that would have been cool. <laughs> Julia and Robert Jones. Well, they weren't, you know, both Joneses before this wedding, I'm suspecting. Uh, wait, but now we're in the Indiana Jones franchise. What the hell? Nope, you're not. Julia, okay. just stay away. Julia and Robert Jones said that when they heard about these special ceremonies, there was no other right decision. That was it. Oh, there are other decisions, kid. Please. They joined six other couples, which would explain a lot about Akron. Six other couples. <laughs> So there were seven couples total in a 50-minute wedding ceremony at the Highland Universal Gathering Spot in Akron. The Highland Universal Gathering Spot in Akron. Uh, it's 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 where those yeah uh, yeah it's where the Highlanders all go to. No, it's off. not. Julia and Rob, you wish. Right, I'd be there every day. I get the idea of some some woke weirdness, and I don't. Um, Julia and Robert took the theme to the next level, wearing Sith and Jedi robes. That's just wrong. Yes. And talk about sleeping with the enemy. Oh, wait, that's the wrong movie. Sorry. Uh, Sith and... It's sort of like boinking with the bad guy. Julia Roberts. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. I don't know if I like that more or enough. I think I liked enough better because Halle Berry kicked his ass at the end. Ooh, that's a good one. Where was I now? Oh, Sith and Jedi robes, which is just wrong. And carrying lightsabers. Yay! Judge Cable, and honestly, he is apparently a judge, intoned, by the joining of these lightsabers and by the giving and receiving of rings, he pronounced the man and wife, may the force be with you. Can you guess what day last spring that wedding took place? April 1st. May 4th. May 4th? Oh, May the good fourth Lord. be with you. Stay with me, big guy. I'm Thanks. sorry. I, st I still think that's a dumb holiday. Duh. <laughs> and I Let like me... the first three Star Wars. Well, the rest I, of it's crap. But I watch that, them all. I watch them although all. Although I did pleasure. like Jar Jar. I found Jar Jar most entertaining. I got a kick out should, of Jar Jar. But I'm watching should. Ahsoka now, and it's pretty good. A little slow, but pretty good. I refuse to watch anything after Disney bought it and ruined what was left of it. A brown bear has which been Which only saved. is after after Lucas ruined what was left of it. Right, exactly. Yeah. A brown bear has been saved after he was found stumbling around with a large plastic barrel stuck on his head. Had he been drinking? Evidently not for a couple of days. The uh -oh. male bear was found tripping over rocks as it doddered from side to side. So he wasn't drunk. He was just uh, hungry and thirsty. Local That's Borja Martinez. not Mart a good combination for a bear. Local guy Borja Martinez came across the poor beast while taking a morning stroll the other day and immediately notified, and you know there had to be one, the Brown Bear Foundation. The bear. I don't know why I'm surprised, but was found in Northwest. Gosh, golly, I wasn't seeing that in the future there. <laughs> Uh, the bear was found northwest of Madrid, Spain. Borja told local media the animal was disoriented, going around in circles and not approaching the forest. Because I think that not being able to see, it would hit the trees and get scared. Mm -hmm. Brown Bear Foundation, not only that, it would hurt his eardrums. We confirmed the bear had got stuck in the barrel. A plastic barrel, dude. It wouldn't go. Clung, clung, clung. Said that, so, well, it, it might go. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. 
The Brown Bear Foundation said, you know, they they confirmed it. They said the barrel probably had corn in it. And that's why the why the bear was after it. Bear was underweight and may have been trapped inside the container for several days. Vets arrived on the scene and tranquilized the bear, putting it to sleep for 12 minutes. They then removed the barrel from his head, fitted it with a GPS tracking collar before waking it up with another injection. Great. Now the bear thinks it's been abducted by aliens. And he might be right. Even though there are declining occurrences of tornadic, is it tornadic or tornadic? Tornadic storms, right? It's tornadic, yeah. Kansas is still famous for its twisters. Yes, it is. Go ahead, insert your Wizard of Oz joke there. My mother's name was Dorothy. There we are. Some caught. I was born in Kansas, and there were twisters going around Fort Riley at the time. That was just your brothers yelling. No, there were real twisters going around Fort Riley. Still just your brothers. <laughs> they were fighting, probably. Some cause extensive destruction, but on May 9th, one tornado took precise aim on an unexpected target. According to KSN TV, a baker in Clay Center, Nancy Kimbrough, filed an emergency report with the details. Her son was delivering baked goods to the Clay Center Country Club when the storm broiled up. The wind was so strong that it ripped them, whipped the meringue off of a coconut cream pie, and splattering it across the parking lot. The club repaired the pie with Cool Whip and served it to guests anyway. And Kimbo that ain't got the a same, good, man. No, it's not. And Kimbo got a good laugh out of the incident, saying, "It's probably it'll probably never happen again." Therefore, inviting another pie-eating storm, I'm sure. Because they pay attention to these things. Yes. I'm just wondering why there was no lawsuit. I mean, somebody would. I was promised pie, coconut cream pie. Coconut cream pie has meringue. If I don't get my meringue, find me a lawyer. Something bad is going to happen. Dude. Actually, that's not the Kansas accent, so. What is the Kansas accent? How you doing? It's It's just tamer. Yeah, I was right. I was right there the other day. You know, that, excuse me. I, I was just right over there the other day. So it's not as big as a Texas draw. Right. Or a real southern draw. Yeah, it doesn't go very deep. Just shorter. So it's more like Kentucky. Yeah, Clay Center is right at the junction of highways uh, 15 and 24. Yeah, no one cares but the folks in Clay Center. Not far from Morganville. Now, the folks in Morganville might care. So right. I stand corrected. Yeah, there's what, 4,000 4, people. 300 people there. Say goodnight, Alice. Oh, it's kind of up in the northeast corner of Kansas. Good night, Alice. Good night, Alice. This is True Really News. Send email to TITR at netradio.network.